Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jim Jarman and welcome to the 2018 KHSA State Cross Country Championships.
Jim B. Phelps, uh, head coach for the boys at LaRue County High School. Uh, we just finished the uh, 2A race. Uh, we ran well. I'm really pleased. We got a young team, so today was more just an experience for them. Uh, hopefully we'll be back next year. Uh, got only losing one kid. The rest are all young, so hopefully this keeps them hungry. Chase Hines was our first, our top runner. He ran real well, uh, right around 18, I think. Uh, he's a freshman. Then we had an uh, eighth grader, Gabe Fortier. Uh, then our senior, Gabe LaFollette. Then our uh, another freshman, Cameron Mullins. And then eighth grader, Cody French. And seventh grader, Brock Gross. So really proud of the guys. They're young, and this was just, just a good experience for them. Tori Duplessis, 12th grade. Um, hope to do well. <laughs> Anastasia Newsom, 11th grade, and I hope to do, the, do my best. <laughs> uh, Emily Pierman, 11th grade, and I hope to get a PR. Bridget Siddle, I'm a junior, and I hope to PR as well. Emma Musgrave, 8th grade, I hope to get a PR. Serving 12th grade, <laughs> just give it a mile. So, Sophia Worthen, 11th grade, I hope I do my best. Okay, we're getting ready for the start of the girls' state 2A race. In this race, we have some individual girls from John Harden uh, running, um, Savannah Hussfeld and Jenna Grogan. And we also have the team from Elizabethtown High School running today with their lead runner, Sarah Bean, in line. And in addition to that, LaRue County has their uh, team ready to go. So we're looking for a great race. It's a beautiful day here at the Kentucky Horse Park. In the high 50s, uh, the ground is a little soft, so it can get a little muddy. But it's going to be an exciting race today with the girls 2A state cross country. If you hear a second gun, stop and come back. Ladies, remember that the finish line is further up the track than it was from previous year. Until you run all the way up that hill.
I'm Coach Leland Wasser. I'm the head girls cross country coach at John Harden High School. Today we had the state track meet at the Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, both of my young ladies, uh, Savannah Hosfeld and Jenna Grogan, placed in the top 20. Savannah finished in 14th with a course PR, and Jenna finished finishing in 19th place. So overall, it's been a great year. I'm Savannah Hosfeld. I'm a junior at John Harden, and today's race it was muddy. It was hard. It was um, a little bit warmer than what I thought it would be, which I think was good for my muscles and having it just warmed up. Um, there was a lot of jostling at the beginning, and I think I might have pushed some people. But, you know, that's kind of just how those races go, and I think overall it was a good race for everyone. Teen individual performers in today's Girls 2A competition. Let's welcome them to the stage. All right, 15th place from Bourbon County, Bethany Simpson. Woo! 14th place from John Harden, Savannah Hussville. Woo! 13th place from Christian Academy, Sarah Wilkinson. from Western Hills, Emma Campbell. Yeah. 11th place from Ashlyn Blazer, Mary Alice Thornburg. 10th place from North Oldham, Katie Giles. Ninth place from Highlands, Alyssa Harris. Eighth place from Bourbon County, Zabina Tamarez. Seventh place from Franklin County, Makina Gillian. Sixth place from Scott, Dylan Hassler. Fifth 
please, from Ashland Blazer, Rebecca Howard. Fourth place, from Elizabethtown, Sarah Bean. Third place, from Mason County, Paige Decker. Ladies and gentlemen, your state runner-up with a time of 19.24 from Christian Academy, Annie Dewey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 2018 KHSA State Cross Country State Champion in Class 2A with a time of 19.07 from Highlands, Maggie Schroeder. Garner, head coach of Meade County. Um, we're happy to be here. Uh, we worked hard to get to this point this year, and I told them, you know, relax. You know, we, we can't control what anyone else does on the course today. That's the beauty of cross country is you control what you do. And so we have our plan on how we want to execute the course, and who cares what anyone else does? We do our thing, run hard, and, and enjoy it. I mean, this is a great honor to be here. So.
Hi, this is uh, Tim Pennington here with uh, Central Harden High School uh, boys coach. Just finished the boys uh, AAA race. Uh, still a little winded. I've been running across the field there and everything. So uh, we had had a little bit of change this year in our course. Uh, it was really wet early coming in. They moved the, the start up 55 meters, uh, moved the finish up the hill 55 more meters. So it uh, made a little bit of difference for everybody, a little challenging. But uh, we ha I think we had a good race out there today. I had a good performance out of Ben Gardner. He was our first first boy to come in. Still waiting to see what place he was. I was on the other side, so I couldn't count. But he was, he was definitely in the top 30, uh, waiting for the other guys as well. So we're hoping for a good team score. We had, I think overall we had a good run today. So I'm hoping it'd be nice if we could squeak in a top 10. Uh, if, if worse came to it, you know, top 13 finish, you know, overall is it in, in the state for us would be good. We've got five seniors and I'd like to send them out on a, on a good note that we're on the squad this year. So uh, girls getting ready to race next. We got uh, Grace Sutherland, who's our, our sole runner for Central Harden to be up next as well. So we're, we're going to be out there cheering her on here in a few minutes. Hi. I'm Grace, I'm from Central Harden, and I'm about to run in like a few minutes, so that's good, and I'm excited for today. And our boys did really good, so it should be a good race. Individual box is for Region 2, is box six, and she'll be there with anybody that of uh, Region 2 that ran with us last weekend, so we're yep. really excited. Grounds, boys just ran, they, they, the ground seems pretty good, nobody went down. It's a lot better now that it's been able to drain the last two days. We were worried that it was going to be a swim meet today, and it's actually turned out to be a pretty good cross country race.